thank you so much for tuning in so for today's video I decided to create this makeup look using some new products that I recently got over the past few weeks at the drugstore online and um, I really like how this makeup look came out especially the eye look um, I used a palette that I wanted for such a long time and I finally got it and I'm talking about the Tardis Pro palette by Tarte I am absolutely in love with it so far. This is the first time I've used it and I'm really, really satisfied with the quality of the products and the colors. So let's go ahead and begin. So to start off, I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use this Eve Pearl Moisturizing Treatment which is not new at all. I actually had for a while. Now for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation which I came across at my local Walmart a few weeks ago and I have actually never used this foundation. I have seen a lot of videos here on YouTube um, of reviews and demos and first impressions and thoughts and stuff like that on this foundation and almost every video that I've watched um, people seem to like it. People seem to like this foundation and I love the fact that it's really inexpensive. I believe it retails on their website for $5.99 and I, if I'm not mistaken, I got it at Walmart for $3.99. So it's really, really inexpensive. So I got it in the color Soft Beige and um, I don't know, let's see how well it works on my face. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It has like a little um, applicator which is really great because I'm just going to pretty much just apply it directly on my face. If I was doing someone else's makeup, um, I definitely wouldn't be doing this. But since I'm going to use it just for myself, because I don't tend to share foundations, um, just because foundations is really hard to figure out the right shade and the women in my family, they don't, we don't have the same color foundation. I don't think so. So anyway, I will be using this on myself and I'm just applying this one layer just to see how the type of coverage that it gives me. And I'm, by the way, I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender, which I absolutely love. I have so many brushes to apply foundation. Um, but I just always reach for my beauty blender. I love it, absolutely love it. I feel like it's all I use when I'm going to apply foundation and it just makes my foundation apply a little bit better. It just feels more hydrating on my skin rather than if I was using a brush. So this foundation seems to have pretty good coverage. Um, I'm just going to use that one layer and I'm not going to apply more because I think that it did a good job covering what I want it to be covered um, like my the dark circles under my eyes and just some imperfections or um, like little pimples that I had up here little zits so I think that it did a pretty good job with just that one application. So now for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use another new product, which is also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Concealer, which goes along with um, the foundation. So I picked up both of these at Walmart, and the concealer I believe was um, two, I think three dollars if I'm not mistaken. I threw out the receipt so I don't remember exactly. So I'm going to give this a try as well. I haven't used it. Um, so let's see how good or bad it works for me. Right off the bat, I feel that the concealer, um, it's really, it feels really thick thicker than the concealers I'm used to. Um, I don't know if it's going to dry up really easily underneath my eyes or wherever I have applied it. So let me just give this a try. Again, I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender because it, it actually feels really thick to what I'm used to. So I don't know how much I'm going to like this concealer, but we'll see.
Okay, now to set my foundation and my concealer, I'm going to go ahead with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. And I actually think that the concealer is working quite well. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using this one, which is from NYC. And this is a Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder which I've had for a while, as you can see. So I'm just going to use um, this darker color right here. And for blush, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Highlight um, Face Studio Highlighting Blush. And this is in the color Pink Rose. And this is not new either. It's just one of my all-time favorite blushes from the drugstore. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. And for that, I will be using this pencil from J.Cat Perfect Duo Brow Pencil which looks like this and I actually got it in my Ipsy bag a while back and I absolutely love it. And on top of my eyebrow pencil, I'm going to go ahead with this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, which I've repurchased for quite a few times now. And it works just the same as the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you guys are looking for a cheaper alternative, this is definitely a really good brow gel. Now moving on to my eyes, I'm going to prime my eyelids with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which um, I got a while back as well, and it really has lasted me for so long. I'm really surprised of how long it's lasted me, um, and it works really good. I really enjoy using this eye primer. So I'm going to start off by using this color right here, which is called Whims. And I'm just taking a little tiny bit on my blending brush because it's really pigmented. So I'm just going to lightly touch it on my crease and start to blend it. As you can see, it's pretty pigmented. I'm not going to use any more because I think that that's enough. I can just blend it back and forth, just work with what I already applied. Now for my brow bone, I'm going to take these two colors, which are classic and vintage. And again, I'm just taking a little bit of those two colors and I'm just going to apply this right on my brow bone and I'm just dabbing it as well and going to sweep it a little bit across my brow bone. Just going to take a little bit more. Now I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Edgy, and I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner of my crease, and I'm just like touching my crease like this, and then I'm just going to blend it inwards a little tiny bit. And as you can see, these colors are really pigmented. I mean, just you just need a little bit to really create this look. You don't need a whole lot. 
So I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and just blend those two colors together. Now I'm taking this color right here, which is called Minx, and I'm going to apply it right on the outer corner of my crease and on my lid as well. I'm going to take a little bit more of this color because it doesn't seem that is as pigmented as the other two that I just used. Again, I'm going to go in with my clean blending brush and just blend everything nicely. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here and it's called Ethereal. I'm going to take a flat uh, shadow brush. And I'm going to apply this right over here. By the way, I did wet my brush a little bit just to intensify this color a little bit more. For some reason, the shimmery shadows doesn't don't seem to be as pigmented as the matte shadows. Now I'm gonna go back with Vintage, and I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner of my eye. And to line my eyes, I'm going to use um, an oldie but a goodie. This is NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Now I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and I'm going to go back in with this color edgy and I'm just going to apply it on my lower lashes. And I'm going to use this color from Lancome and this is in the color black coffee and I'm going to use that to line my waterline. For my lashes, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite drugstore um, mascaras, and this is Essence I Love Extreme Mascara in the color black. Now to finish up this look, I'm going to apply this lipstick, and this is Milani number 26 Nude Cream. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope that you guys like this makeup look. I have to tell you that I'm quite impressed with the pigmentation and the quality of these shadows from the Tardis Pro Palette. I'm really uh, impressed of how pigmented the um, matte shadows that I used on this makeup look are really, really pigmented. I really, really like how this came out. I hope you guys did as well. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.